Morning prayer for the week, including Christmas Day. Thursday, using Janet Morley, haphazard by starlight. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. In the Days of Caesar by Waldo Williams, translated from the Welsh by Rowan Williams. In these days of Caesar, when his subjects went to be reckoned, there was a poem made, too dark for him, naive with power to read. It was a bunch of shepherds who discovered in Bethlehem of Judah the great music beyond reason and reckoning. Shepherds, the sort of folk who leave the 99 behind so as to bring the stray back home, they heard it clear. The subtle assonances of the day, dawning toward cockcrow, the birthday of the Lamb of God, shepherd of mortals. Well, little people, and my little nation, can you see the secret buried in you? that no Caesar ever captures in his lists. Will not the shepherd come to fetch us in our desert, gathering us to give us birth again, weaving us into one in a song heard in the sky over Bethlehem? He seeks us out as word hoard of his workmanship, the laureate of heaven. As you prepare to attend Christmas worship, use this poem to reflect on the mystery of the Incarnation. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. When the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. As we praise God for the incomparable gift of Jesus, we pray for those we love, for those we miss, for those who are unloved, for all that they may encounter Emmanuel, God with us. And so we pray.
Almighty and everlasting God, who stooped to raise fallen humanity through the childbearing of blessed Mary, grant that we, who have seen your glory revealed in our human nature, and your love made perfect in our weakness, may daily be renewed in your image, and conformed to the pattern of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. May the grace of Christ our Saviour be with us all. Amen. <laughs>